Hello again everyone. Uh, I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of progress that I've made uh, designing a variable warm-up program. So I wrote this warm-up call where you can set a bunch of parameters. I've got to change some of this stuff. I was trying to make it generic but this is really just gonna end up being semen specific. But uh, you essentially, well I'll show you this on the machine but anyway I was testing it on the simulator here and everything seems to be working pretty much the way I wanted it to. So we'll go over to the machine and I'll just show you what it's doing right now. Um, I just need to load the newest one in from memory uh, from my network drive. So I'll just take both of them just in case. So there's a call program and a subroutine program, the two that I just highlighted. You have to paste them into machine memory and then you open the call. What I'd recommend if you're going to edit this, uh, which you know you're going to want to do, that's the whole point of it, is actually to open it in uh, machine data automatic. So we'll just go into that and uh, so you go into load file and go into the memory area and then load the uh, spindle screw warm-up call okay and now you can actually edit it so the main variables to play with are this R1 which is the minutes to spend warming up the spindle in the bed so default I set as 20 for this example I set it to 3 R2 is the max spindle speed um, then the increments uh, to ramp the spindle up defaults 500 rpm steps um, this uh, R4 uh, with the 808 from here we need to stop the spindle in between basically a thousand rpm and anything above it because it needs to switch from the little one here is position mode and when there's two it's in velocity mode and it needs a little bit more time to switch than you can do it when you're running a routine like this so you know, if you've got this controller, you set it to one. If you've got like an 828, you probably don't need to do that. Um, then you set your, you can set your slow bed feed rate. And I actually have to make this safer so that it's, you know, it's for sure transferring over as in uh, 3,000 millimeters per minute. Uh, fast bed feed rate, so it ramps it up halfway through. And then you can go in and set, a lot of the stuff you'd only set once, so your, you know, X plus, X minus, Y plus, Y minus. Um, I'm going to get rid of the, this, because it's just going to be Siemens only, so it's going to use the super commands. And then you set your Z safe location, which I don't have it doing that right now. So anyway, this looks good for me. So whenever you'd come in here a second time, really you'd only ever probably play with the how many minutes do you want to spend and what's your maximum spindle RPM you want to warm up to. And that was the point of this was to make that easy. So, uh, you know, sometimes I know I've been out here, I don't have a lot of time to spend. I don't want to wait the 20 minutes necessarily so I could set it to like five and at least get some amount of warm up done before I do my quick work that I need to do. So anyway, with it, with this all ready to go, feed rate override, override knob at uh, zero. Hit cycle start. So, uh, as you can see, it lets you know it's warming to 2000 RPM. I'm going to bring the feed rate up to 100%, and basically, it's going to run to the extents that you set in that program. So, this is going to start going through stuff kind of quick because it's only going to run for three minutes. So, the way I have it set is your slow feed rate, it's going to run at that level for roughly half the program length so in this case that would be about 90 seconds and then it's going to go to the fast bed feed rate uh, for the for the faster movements until the program is finished and you're going to see that pause for this controller you're going to see it stop and wait for three seconds before it goes above a thousand rpm uh, but it should be just about ready to do its first step here. Uh, kind of counts down how much time's remaining, and like I said, the max spindle speed that it's going to hit. Uh, obviously, you have to be careful that whatever you've got on the bed isn't going to smash into 
you know, the current tool and the spindle and also what's in there. I think to make it safer, I'm gonna make it so that you have to have T0 active in the controller, which means no, no tool in the spindle because if you fire up the wrong tool to 10,000 RPM, you can pretty much kill yourself. So uh, I think it's probably just laziness that we wouldn't return the, the current tool into the carousel to run a warm up. So I, I really can't think of a good reason to, to have anything in there for this because it could be really dangerous if you make a mistake uh, running this with the wrong tool. So we're already at 1000 RPM. It's just about to, uh, to do that pause and so it's going to pause, restart the spindle, and when it does, it's also going to be at the faster bed feed rate. The thing I like about this is it's, you know, not only just warming up the bed. For me, I don't really know how important that is, but it's getting oil and everything to all the, the areas of the screws and the, the rails. So here we go. So we've got, now we're at the uh, faster feed rate. Spindle's now at 1500 RPM. This, like I said, is just a really quick cycle to just show you how it all works. But, um, yeah, basically that's it. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, it's a, it was a lot of code, <laughs> believe it or not, to make it do this. Um, I'll, I'll show it to you in a second. I, I think I only showed you the, the calling routine, but I'll show you the other side of it once this is finished here so it's gone to its final 2000 rpm step this isn't focused very well uh, um, so you know zero minutes remaining and it's just about done it is still pausing for exact stop which is weird because i'm in g64 and i thought that would get rid of that but anyway so um remember to set your reset your work coordinates when you run this it's gonna you know uh not it might potentially reset it. It it probably won't by the time I'm done because I'm gonna leave it just strictly for Siemens, but I thought I'd have that warning in there so you can hit cycle start again and then it'll shut everything down. So uh, I'll just show you kind of the code involved here. So like I said, that's the, the call program that we just pulled up in there. And this is the subroutine. <laughs> so it was it was a fair bit of code and you know figuring figuring some fairly interesting things out but i wanted it to be you know i didn't want it just to be copy and paste you know x plus x minus x plus x minus uh, i wanted it to be somewhat intelligent like i said variable based on how much time you want it to spend doing this and also what rpm no sense warming it up to 8,000. You know, if you're only going to be cutting at 5,000 for the day, it's just extra wear on things. So anyway, there's my quick video just to let you know what I'm working on right now. I'm going to test it a little bit more and refine it a little bit. And then I will probably release it uh, for you guys to use. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.